Bonjour tout le monde et bienvenue sur IFC, Here in Spanish Class. Aujourd'hui, dans cette vidéo, in this video, we are going to learn arguably the most important verb in every language, to be or être en français. So together, in about 10 minutes, we are going to learn the conjugation of être in the present tense, cover the pronunciation, and some of its uses in everyday conversation. And as usual, at the end, we're going to do some fun activities to revise and practice. So, c'est parti! One of the first things to mention about the verb être in French is that it's an irregular verb. It means that, unlike many other verbs that we are going to cover on this channel, there is no conjugation pattern. Basically, there is one form of the verb for each subject pronoun. So unfortunately for you guys, it means that there is no other way around but to learn the conjugation chart by heart, par cœur. Être means to be. So when you are using forms like I'm French, you're nice, it's the verb être that you are using. So let's cover together the conjugation of être in the present tense. Here it is. Je suis. Tu es. Il est. Elle est. On est. Nous sommes. Vous êtes. Ils sont. Elles sont. Okay, so now, listen carefully, focus on my mouth and repeat. Écoutez et répétez. Je suis. Tu es, il est, elle est, on est, nous sommes, vous êtes, ils sont, elles sont. Très bien, excellent. All right, let's keep the chart for a sec, because there's a few things to note regarding pronunciation. As you may have noticed, there is a few consonants that are not pronounced. And usually, S and T at the end of words are not pronounced in French. So let's review the form one by one. Je suis. Here the difficulty is to switch from the U sound to the E sound, from a round shape of your lips to a full stretch. Let's do it. Oui, oui, je suis. Très bien. For tu, il, elle, and on, the pronunciation of the verb is the same. It may be written differently, but it's pronounced the same. Like, et, simply, et. Tu es. And for il, elle, and on, don't forget to link the subject pronoun and the verb together. Okay? On répète. Il est, elle est, on est. So once again, tu, il, elle, on are pronounced the same. Et. Nous sommes. So here it's not an close O, like O, but an open one. A. On répète. Nous sommes. Nous sommes. Vous êtes. Here, be careful with the liaison, okay? Between the subject pronoun and the verb. Vous êtes. Vous êtes. With a the sound. Il, elle, son. It's a nasal vowel that you need to do. Son, son. Ils sont, elles sont. And please note that we are not pronouncing the T here, okay? Ils sont, elles sont. All right, guys. Let's cover some of the uses of the verb être in French. And you will see that it's very similar to the way you use it in English. So the first context is when you are describing yourself and others. Je suis grand et gentil. Of course I am. Elle est grande et gentille. Ils sont petits. Elles sont sympas. Tu es beau. Elle est belle. Etc. etc. The second context is when you want to talk about your nationality because nationalities are also adjectives. Par exemple, je suis français. Tu es indien. 
aux indiennes, féminin, masculin. Ils sont russes. Elle est grecque. Il est américain. Nous sommes espagnols. Vous êtes italien. Il est australien, etc., etc. We use être to talk about state of being, again by using adjectives. Je suis heureux. Tu es content. Il est triste ou elle est triste. Ils sont courageux. Elles sont courageuses, etc., etc. We also use être to talk about profession. Par exemple, je suis prof. Tu es étudiant ou tu es étudiante. Nous sommes dentistes. Elles sont journalistes. Ils sont ingénieurs, etc., etc. And please note that unlike in English, we are not using any articles in between the verb être and the profession. Okay? We are not saying je suis un prof, but je suis prof, straight. So please keep that in mind. There is no article in French. There is one big difference to note in the way être is used in French and in English. If I say, for example, I am watching TV, it's not the verb être that you will use in French, but directly the verb regarder. Je regarde la télévision. All right, guys, now that we have covered the conjugation chart of the verb être in French in the present tense, let's do some fun activities together to revise and practice. Okay, so the first activity is very simple. You will see appearing on your screen some subject pronouns, and you will need to find out the corresponding form of the verb être. Okay, so for example, if I give you je, je suis, exactly. So let's do it. What about that one? Vous. Vous êtes, that's correct. This one. Il, with the S, be careful. Ils sont, that's right. Nous. Nous sommes. Tu. Tu es, that's correct. Elle, uh, singular, sorry, no S. Elle est. Il, singular again. Il est. Il, with the S this time, be careful. Ils sont. On, on est. That's perfect. All right, guys, for this second activity, All you need to do is to fill in the blanks of the given sentences. Let's start. What about this one? Je m français et il m espagnol. So figure out the forms. Je suis français et ils sont espagnols. Très bien. What about this one? Vous m heureux. Vous êtes heureux. Très bien. And please note like, the, all the, the liaison here. Vous êtes heureux. OK? What about this one? Tu m mm, basketteur. Tu m mm, grand. Same form for both, of course. Tu es. Tu es basketteur. Tu es grand. What about this one? Ma m. Mm, Chimiste et mon père m mm, physicien, il m mm, scientifique. Ma mère est chimiste et mon père est physicien, ils sont scientifiques. Ok, last one. Here you go. Nous m mm, journalistes. Nous nous sommes nous sommes journalistes. Well done, guys. All right, guys, c'est tout pour cette vidéo. That's all for that video. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you have learned a few things about the verb être in French. We will surely come back to that verb because, like I said at the beginning, it's probably the most important verb in every language. So if you like that video, give it a pouce vers le haut, write a comment to interact with me and share your experience, and finally, please subscribe to support the channel. 
and don't hesitate to rewatch as much as you need that video to make sure that you get the pronunciation right. Okay, à bientôt, au revoir, ciao, à plus.